focus on your breath. Watch it as you breathe in, breathe out, and see what kind of breathing feels good. You can try long breathing or short, fast or slow, heavy or light. The important thing is that you find a type of breathing that is really engaging, okay, either because it's very comfortable or as you breathe you begin to notice that patterns of tension in the body begin to loosen up. If you breathe in old ways, sometimes the same patterns just keep coming back and back and back. So you want to try something new, something that opens up the area inside the body. Because we've got this resource, we've got the body right here, and yet we don't use it for that much. We use it for things outside. But as for looking after how the body feels from within, usually that's something we notice only when we're starting to get sick and we have to go see a doctor. But here we can work with it on our own, and that's one way of getting engaged with the breath is realizing the breath energy has a lot that it can do with the body. It can really change the way you feel in the head, in the, in the torso, in your legs, in your arms. So try to explore that so you get both a sense of ease and a sense of interest. That can keep you with the breath, because you want to stay right here. Because the most important thing that happens in your life is what the mind is doing right now, the intentions that it's shaping. The media keep telling us that what other people are doing someplace else, that's more important. But it's nothing compared to what you're doing right now, because this is what's really shaping your life now and on into the future. What they're doing may have some impact, but the fact that it has an impact on you, that's a result of past karma. So you want to make sure that you're not leaving an opening. You want to make sure that all of your actions are skillful, they're honest and upright and open. There's nothing devious about your actions. You're not using people for ulterior aims. You're thinking about their true happiness, and you're treating them from the very beginning with their true happiness in mind. So you want to make sure that you've got skillful intentions going on right here. And if you're not right here to keep, keep an eye on them, then it's very easy for other intentions to come in and take over, and you don't even recognize them as being unskillful. That's a real problem, but they will lead to unskillful, unpleasant results down the line. So you've got to be very careful about the honesty and compassion of your motivations right now. And it's not a matter of using less than honest means to get to a good end. You have to be honest all the way through, through the means and through the end. That way there's an openness to the mind. And when the mind is open like this, then you can start seeing more subtle levels of delusion inside that you would have missed otherwise. So the whole purpose of staying right here is to begin to open things up, use the breath to open things up a little bit in the body, and that also begins to open things up in the mind. So whatever's going on, you see it clearly. You recognize it for what it is, and then you can deal with it effectively. If anything is unskillful, you'll put it aside. As for skillful things, you try to give rise to them and develop them even further. And this is where it all happens, right here, right now. So you want to get a good foundation right here, right now, so you've got a front-line seat. Catch everything as it's happening. And this way you find that you can shape your life in more and more skillful ways. You get more and more in control. Because you're paying careful attention to things that have been controlling it all along, but have been allowed to run an automatic pilot or to be subject to all kinds of interior committee dialogues. You want to straighten out the dialogue. You want to straighten out the relationships among the committee members inside. So everybody's on board with the idea of creating a truly happy life that's based on truly skillful intentions. It's our actual sense of well-being now and on into the future. This is what's good about the practice, is that it doesn't require that you save all the good things to the end. There's a sense of ease and well-being that you can draw on simply by the way you breathe, by the way you relate to the breath. So learn that skill, and you find that it helps you through a lot of difficulties, and also helps to straighten out the committee members in the mind. 